it's Melody. Happy December. I don't think I'm going to be doing uh, Vlogmas because number one, I'm not a great vlogger because I don't like showing my face all the time. Number two, my life's not that interesting. Um, number three, that takes a lot of work. <laughs> I do want to do more frequent videos in December. So this is going to be my first one. Um, this video is going to be a interesting one, I hope. Um, I'm going to do a Pandora Christmas wish list sort of video. I kind of thought about two ways of doing this, either showing you through the catalog or just showing you kind of like screenshot of my, um, my laptop and just like going through the Pandora website. I've decided to go with the catalog instead. Uh, I thought it would be a little bit easier to just go through pages than to go through like scroll, scroll, scroll and stuff like that. But Hopefully this is interesting. Um, just like an FYI, uh, I, my family and my friends, we do not exchange Christmas gifts. So this really is just a Christmas wish list, like for myself <laughs> and just to create a video. I thought it'd be kind of fun. Uh, this is the catalog we're gonna be looking at. It is the Pandora Autumn Winter 2018 catalog. Uh, Miss Tuhata, I will link her YouTube down below. She does a lot of catalog sort of videos on past um, Pandora catalogs and the contents and like stuff that was out, um, you know, back in the day. So if you guys want to see more like catalog sort of videos, definitely check out her channel. I'll link it down below. Like I said, um, we're going to go through this and kind of just, I'm just going to quickly try to show you some of the things that I would like. Most of them are kind of like maybe some are like kind of strong yeses. Um, but, uh, I don't think I'm going to purchase anything anytime soon, but anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, these catalogs are really nice. You can get them at Pandora stores uh, for free. So always ask for them. It starts off with reflections and I love my reflections bracelet. I've made this video one other time already. You guys, it was 40 minutes long. I'm gonna try to speed through this. So reflections, I already have a bracelet, but as far as charms, I would not mind having the sleek star charm. I think that's quite lovely. And the moon charm. I think that is also quite lovely. And you know what? I think the opposite side of this logo charm is plain. I don't think it says Pandora on it. Can someone confirm that for me? Because if so, I would not mind that circle charm either. So those are the three charms. If I decide to get um, reflections charms or the charms that I would get, I really like them, but there's a ton that you can get. I've seen people do really cute stuff with the uh, floating one. The CZ one's pretty cute. Uh, rings, I love rings. As far as uh, rings go, I love the Lively Wish. That kind of like uh, wheat, wheat, <laughs> grain <laughs> sort of detail as well as the open grain. I think those are really nice. I like that the bands are kind of more substantial and at $45 each, I think that's a pretty good price point. I just don't like need them right now. And um, if they ever go on like 50% off sale, I think that'd be a better deal for me to get them. But I do like those rings. There are so many Pandora rings, you guys. I think Pandora rings are still my fave. Uh, there was another one that I wanted to show you. Do you guys have Pandora rings on your Christmas wish list? Let me know down below if you do and what rings you are looking for. I always like the Heart of Winter one. Oh, and then have you guys ever seen the Regal Dazzling one in real life? It is huge. It is so, so big. I think this ice one is kind of neat. I'm not a huge fan of like the rectangle style, but I think it is kind of neat and different. Oh, this is the Pandora Halo has been on my wish list for but um, at $75, I just needed to go down way more in price. Um, every time uh, Tuhata wears hers, I like love it. I absolutely love it. I would get mine in sterling silver if I do get it. I've tried it on multiple times at the store. I do feel like the band is a little bit thin, but I think it's supposed to kind of ha have that dainty sort of feel with that open sort of feel. And I just love the open circle of it. I wouldn't even mind if it, the open circle didn't have CZs around it like it does, but um, that is definitely on my list of things uh, that I want in Pandora eventually in the future. I've been watching a lot of international Pandora videos and I have a feeling that they, international Pandora fans really like the one love rings. I've seen a lot of people purchase those in their hauls, especially in Korea. I've seen a lot of Korean Pandora haul videos where they love that ring. And I think it's because it's small and dainty. Oh, and then the wish rings. I love the beaded one and the shining one. I love them. I think they're perfect for stacking. They're so delicate, so beautiful. They are a little thin, but they're like $35. So I guess uh, those are some that I would like. I actually almost bought these three during the buy two, get one free promo that they had going on, but um, I just decided I didn't need it at that point. Maybe just in the future. I like the kind of dipped nature of it. 
I like that. And I think that's it. So for rings, that is it for me. Uh, I'm not a fan of rose gold or Pandora rose, I mean, excuse me, Pandora rose or the shine. I wash my hands far too much and the moment I take that off to wash my hands, I'm gonna forget it. So um, as far as earrings go, I love the light as a feather earrings, 150 bucks though. So I will definitely wait on that. I always love anything of the vintage allure collection. I think it's so like classic art deco. Like it just looks like, it looks so lovely, but I'm like, oh, where am I gonna wear that? <laughs> Am I gonna wear that to Whole Foods? Like, where am I wearing those earrings? I just don't know. So I don't know, but they, I think anything from the Vintage Allure is beautiful. And does anyone have these big old enchanted tassel earrings? I just wanna know. Like, how do they feel on your ears? Do they get tangled up in your hair? What is the deal? I do need some nice earrings. I feel like I have one pair of yellow gold hoops and two pairs of sterling silvers and that's it. But I have my eye on a couple of pairs from uh, Tiffany's that I think I'm gonna get. I really like stud earrings lately too. I think studs are more uh, in right now anyways. Like really simple studs. Like I literally wear just like bubbles, <laughs> like just round <laughs> or like little small geometric shapes. I do like the cultured elegance um, the pearl earrings because I love the ring. I have the ring like over here. Um, I like those earrings, but I'm not sure about the setting as an earring. If you guys have those, let me know what you think. $70 is not a bad price point. I actually have a pair from, uh, or uh, I want a pair from Tiffany's that are, um, that are really pretty, um, that they're a little more expensive, obviously. I also love the majestic feathers. I think those look gorgeous. I love them. I think the star shines look really pretty too. I've seen them in real life though and they kind of look a little bit youthful to me, so I'm not sure about those. Um, I think the midnight star earrings are beautiful too because I, I love the ring, but I don't know about the setting again. I'm not quite sure if the setting does it for me in an earring form. And then I really love the flourishing hearts. I think those are gorgeous and, and in real life, I think they're really pretty too. Um, again, vintage allure. Those earrings are stunning. And I love these forever Pandora earrings. These just round ones, very much like the halo um, ring. I think those are really pretty too. I actually wouldn't mind if it was just a circle with no CZs inside. $55, that's not actually a bad price point. Maybe I will consider that. More earrings, 14 karat gold earrings. 14 karat gold pearl ear earrings, not bad. I wish I liked yellow gold more, I just don't. Have, does anyone own these, by the way, these open heart cuffs? I think they're really pretty and I've seen them in real life, but I've read the reviews online and people are like, I lost mine like two days later. And I get it because it doesn't like attach to anything. So like, you know, you tuck your hair behind your ear and it's gone. You know what I mean? Like something could happen. All right, I think as far as earrings go, that's it. Cause I'm not interested in rose or shine. Let me know if you guys have rose or shine earrings and, um, how well they've held up since they're plated jewelry. I, I'm not a huge fan of necklaces, but I always love this one again, <laughs> the Hearts of Pandora. <laughs> this circle one, I think is just so beautiful. 100 bucks, not bad. Um, there is one necklace. I'm not a huge necklace wearer, just in general. I just don't think I like things around my neck, but there is one necklace that I think is really nice. Oh, and I really like the a uh, feather pendant on these like chokers but anytime I put a choker on you guys it's like where'd my neck go I just have a very short neck and I can't break it up with a choker I love this one right here the sterling it just says sterling silver wonderful these are just chains but I love this little chain with the little beaded details all throughout 70 centimeter I actually don't know how long that is I really like my necklace is long too that's my preference so, oh, you know what? Some of these are not bad too up here. The price point's not terrible. 65, 75, not terrible. Maybe some necklaces on my, but th those are like last of my list as far as um, things that I want from Pandora. My wish list is pretty much rings and bracelets right now. So there's more pendants, lockets. Do you guys like the floating hearts? I think that's a dangerous thing to do because then you have to collect all these little cute petites. <laughs> I know people love them though. Oh, here we here we go, bracelets. Okay, I'm always interested in this bracelet, but I don't like bangles, so I just don't know how it would feel. I've never tried that one on either though, so I don't really know how it is. I am very interested in these sparkling strand bracelets, very interested. Um, Fairy Princess, Alyssa has them. 
and they look so delicate delicate and elegant on her i love them i would probably get this one this 55 dollars one the just the regular sterling silver with the clear cz's if you guys happen to have these let me know if you find yourself readjusting the bracelet um all the time that's my only concern i've kind of read you know this and that about it um i just don't know if i'd have to readjust that just throughout the day with wear i think they're just so elegant and beautiful i would love that so that's definitely on my wish list but i don't think i'll be purchasing it anytime soon they do come in different colors some of these are like the newer styles Um, how to build a bracelet. Oh, you know, I always wonder if I should just go ahead and get the OG, the classic sterling silver bracelet, but moments bracelets are not my fave. So, I don't know. I always think this one's really pretty though. The poet, poetic bloom, because I like the button style of the clasp. And then, um, with the signature clasp, does it only come in the one with 14 karat gold? That's a question I, I had. Um, but I couldn't remember if there was like a regular one. Maybe I need to just turn the page. <laughs> Cause I actually like the clasp of that. I like the button style nature of it. And then also, can someone tell me if the mesh bracelets feel more, I need to just try it on. I should just go ahead and do that. Do the mesh bracelets feel more like a bangle or a moments bracelet? Um, Cause I love the look of it. I don't think I put any charms on it. I just want to know how it feels. I should probably just go try it on though, huh? Well, you know what? Since it comes in only like 17, 19, 21, I'm assuming it feels like a mesh, I mean, um, a bangle now. But anytime I see people try them on in their videos, it always looks a lot smoother. I don't know. I do not know. Like it looks like bendy, you know? And I just, any sort of sliding bracelet, you guys, I'm very interested in because I like this sort of strappy detail to it. But again, on the Pandora website, on the reviews, people are like, mine broke or I have to readjust it all the time. So I just don't know what the wear is on these. Again, I don't think I'd put any charms on it. I just wear it as a bracelet, so maybe that would make a difference. But at $65, I don't think that's that bad. I like this um, open style bracelet too, anytime I see someone wear it. But again, I, I just don't think, bangles just feel so restrictive to me. I, I'm not, I like mine to be very, my bracelets to be very pliable, so. I have lots of leathers already, so I'm not interested in any of these. I do want to know if anyone has these smooth leather bracelets. Do you find that the leather has a lot of wear and tear? Because that's what it looks like when I see pictures of them. People who have like charms on them, the material, the leather starts just wearing and tearing really easily, it looks like. But I love like the, the way these close, like the little um, hooks for them and everything. I think those are nice. And those are 55. The price points for Pandora aren't bad at all. Okay, so now we go into charms. I don't think I need a lot of charms. Um, I would like these little spacers. I, I want a little color, so these blue crystal ones. And I also love the alluring cushion ones because I love the alluring cushion ring too. However, they're $45 a piece. My gosh, that means it's $90 to get two of them. And I would probably want two. So not going to happen, I think, anytime soon. But could be on my wish list, right? That's what a wish list is. Um, and then I would also love another set of silicone clips. I found that the silicone clips that I got for this bracelet, actually, these are superb. They're stunning. They're beautiful. I love that they have silicone in them. They stay anywhere. Absolutely my new favorite clips of all time. Love them. I want another set. So happy I got those because those are $45, $90. This whole bracelet cost me like 110 or something. So just that. Just those clips I feel like are worth it. Um, so where are they? Oh, they're right here. Now I wish they had them in blue, but can someone tell me, does the teal look like teal or does the teal look more like blue in real life? I've never paid attention to these clips because I just found them to be so expensive. So I've never seen the teal ones in real life. Someone let me know. Because otherwise clear CZ is the way to go. It's so shiny. I am i don't feel like I ever need safety chains. I like the look of them but I feel like they take up space on your bracelet. I love the new um, Personal Galaxy one. However, it's a, it's a, a threaded one. I want, a, I want a safety chain with like clips. <laughs> I don't know, I don't quite get the point. It's just aesthetics, I believe. Um, and then just a bunch of charms now. Uh, I'm gonna fast forward through all of this. You know what, I do wanna show this one though. I, I love the pattern of love charm. 
that dangle. I think it's just so pretty. I wish it came out in a, I wish they had it in a sterling silver one. I think it's so pretty. Comment down below with your Christmas wish list items. I want to know. Or make a video. Oh my gosh, I would love to see videos from all of you on your Pandora Christmas wish list. I would love to see what you guys want. Anniversary love. Love, love. There's so many pretty heart charms, aren't there? Dangles. Oh, this um, uh, enchanted heart tassel has always been on my kind of like radar. I love the look of it. Have no place for it <laughs> on any of my bracelets. Don't know where it would go, but I love it. It's only $45 and I think it's a nice sized charm too. So that's on my wish list. But again, don't really have a place for it right now. So I love all the Christmas charms, but I don't have a Christmas bracelet or anything. I love, I'm so happy I have the Dazzling Wishes dangle. Makes me so happy. I love the shape of that dazzling firework. I love it. So on my wish list, but not like a necessity anytime soon. So pretty though, goodness. I love shapes like that. It's just kind of like abstract and different. Um, let's see, flowers in nature. I'm a sucker for all of the flower charms. I think like, I love the magnolia bloom. You know what I mean? Like I love things with flowers. I think it's so pretty. Have no place for them. <laughs> I don't want to make it like a flower bracelet either, so. More flowers in nature. That crystallized snowflake, I've seen it on so many people's charms, I mean bracelets, and I think it's so pretty. I love it, nautical. Oh, celestial is kind of where it's at for me. Like these are my jam, this is my jam right here. Um, I have this galaxy charm. I wish I had this one with the, bl with the blue. That would fit my bracelet so much better and add a little bit of color. Illuminating Stars is always on my wish list. I always just go back and forth on whether I need it or not. It's because it's just, it has so much CZs in it and I'd rather have something with color right now. Um, I never thought I would like something like this little Celestial Mosaic, but I think that's really nice too. It just adds something a little different to the bracelet. Um, I've seen that in real life too and I think it's quite lovely. And it seems like very uh, substantial seems like a larger charm for some reason. I know it's not that large, that much larger. I love these two. Like if I could just have these two <laughs> together on a bracelet or something, I think I would love that. But um, I have no place for them right now. <laughs> oh, and I always think that the Majestic Feather is so pretty. I like the entire Majestic Feather line. I think that's beautiful. I always think that the four leaf clover charm is really nice. And I know there's another one. I don't think it's in here. I think it's retired because I've seen it on Blue La La. Anyone have this charm? The enchanted tassel charm, just like the earrings. Like, do you guys have this? This is amazing. This is a $90 charm, but look at how, it, this is crazy. <laughs> do you guys have it? I want to know. Tell me. Tell me what it's like to have that on, on your wrist. <laughs> or maybe this as a pendant, huh? Um... Disney. Okay, I told myself I was not going to make a Disney bracelet. You guys know, if you have watched my channel at all previously, you know I'm a Disney fiend. I have had an annual pass for Disneyland for like four years. I finally let it um, uh, expire last summer because I was on a no spend ban and all this stuff. I mean, no spend uh, sort of thing. And so I let it expire last summer. Um, I love Disney. I love Disneyland. I went once went to, I don't live in California. I once went to Disneyland like 56 times one year in a year, in a one year span because they clock how many times you go. And I was like, oh my gosh, I went to Disneyland for like almost two months of my life this year. <laughs> I know, but I, so I told myself anyways, I'm not going to make a Disney bracelet, but I don't know, man. I don't know. I might make a simple one just like with one or two charms because I already have two right now. Cause this could get crazy. Like this could just get out of control wild. Cause right now I have this, I have the uh, Cinderella's dream. And where's the, oh, and I have uh, when you wish upon a star. I love the Mary Poppins charm. I think it's adorable, but I want desperately this evil queen's black magic. Love this. It's a hundred dollars. It needs to be like not a hundred dollars. <laughs> It is so lovely though, I love that term. More Disney. I do think I'm gonna go to Disneyland, finally. I broke my ban and I think I'm gonna finally go to Disneyland because I wanna see the Christmas stuff. I can't believe I didn't go for Halloween this year, but I wanna, I, Disneyland during Christmas is the best time to go. If you cannot, if you can go any time of the year, go for Christmas because it's just the best. Oh, I love, oh my gosh, did I skip over all of this? I love, 
Oh no, these are just colors. Okay. I got, I got scared. Oh my gosh. I love all of the colored charms and I never ever thought I would. I wish I had more colored charms, honestly. Like I love anything with the geometric facets. That synthetic ruby is gorgeous. Um, I love the sky blue crystal. I almost bought that, but I'm so glad I didn't because on Rue La La, they had a blue that I loved better. I think the royal blue one that's retired now. I love color on a bracelet now. It's like, it's like my favorite thing. And then, oh, this mosaic's really pretty, but I just don't know where I would put it. And then Murano's, I'm not a big Murano fan, so I don't need any of those. None of those are going on my wish list. 14 karat gold, all you 14 karat gold fans, y'all are, got some bread, <laughs> got some money. All right, Essence. Essence is like my new favorite collection too. I love my little sterling silver beaded bracelet. I want a regular one as well. Um, and I just wanna think, I think I'm just put two charms on the beaded one. And if I get this one, I might not put any on that one. Maybe one or two, I don't know. But I just, I think they're so beautiful just as is. So I would love another bracelet that was on my wish list for sure. And then the charms for the essence i love all of the charms for the essence i think they're gorgeous um i think the health one is really nice just that simple sleek look i love if i if, i don't think any of these are maybe i mean i guess it's a wish list i can put anything on, i want on it i love this generosity the white mother pro mosaic i think that is stunning i love it I love all the mosaic ones for whatever reason. I think they're gorgeous. But I also really like the Joy Transparent White Enamel. It looks like it has a little sand dollar in it. So pretty. This one's 40, which is not bad at all. Um, I bought two from Rue La La, and I think I'm pretty set right now, so I'm, I'm pretty stoked about those. Oh, and that's it, you guys. Thank goodness this video is only 24 minutes. <laughs> my last one was literally 40, so oh my goodness. Um, that is a rushed deal of the things that I want, or that are on my Christmas wish list from Pandora. Please let me know what is on your Christmas wish list or your holiday wish list or your birthday wish list or your general wish list of uh, things from Pandora. I would love to see a video or just to know down below what you guys want um, coming up here. Um, if you happen to like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. It kind of lets me know, know that uh, Pandora videos are kind of where I should be heading in my channel and things that you guys want to see. Um, check out the links in the description box below for different playlists that I also have. If you happen to like me, go ahead and hit subscribe and all that fun YouTube stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it was just a lot of me talking and flipping through a catalog. However, um, I think I, I had a fun time with it. I know it's a little bit long, so thanks for hanging in there. Um, and that's it. You guys have a great December. I will see you soon in a different video. Bye!